Hey friends, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead, and today we're going to make Half Acre Homestead Biscotti. Okay, here's what you're going to need. Two cups of flour, three quarters of a cup of sugar, a half a cup of coarsely ground almonds. You're going to need two of these fresh eggs, a heaping tablespoon of butter, a little bit of rum extract, uh, I'm going to say about a teaspoon, and a teaspoon of grated orange zest. Let's get started. As always, we're going to start, yes my hands are clean, we're going to start by creaming our butter and adding our sugar. Now I'm going to add uh, about a teaspoon of rum extract. My flour, I'm just going to dump everything in here. My orange zest. For the topping, you're going to need uh, eight ounces or a cup of chocolate or semi-sweet chocolate chips and uh, a tablespoon of oil. Let's put our, whoa, dump the almonds, Bev. Get our almonds and everything in there. Let's just lock this down and very slowly put it on stir. And crack in our eggs. This is a really simple recipe, folks. Ooh! Oh! God! Try not to drop the eggshell in, folks. Oh, I'm pretty sure I got the other half of that eggshell out. That was scary. Oh, wait, there's another piece. This seems really dry, so I'm going to add another egg. Okay, this looks done. So, we'll see you guys at the table. Okay, I'm going to divide my biscotti dough in half. And I'm just going to roll it between my hands. And yes, folks, as always, they're clean and washed. And I'm just going to pat it out into a loaf. Now, the reason this is called Homestead Biscotti, folks, is because, of course, as usual, I don't want to get a half a million emails saying, that's not Italian biscotti. There are as many recipes for biscotti as there is for shortbread. We're going to pop this in a 375 degree oven for 15 to 20 minutes. When this comes out of the oven, we'll be back. Okay, here is our biscotti fresh from the oven. We're going to put it on a rack and let it cool a little bit because it's a little too hot to handle. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but biscotti means bake a little more and that's exactly what we're going to do as soon as this cools down enough to slice. Let's take one of our biscottis and they smell amazing. And we're going to cut it on a diagonal. I'm going to save that piece for me. And we're going to slice up our biscottis and we're going to put them on the cookie sheet. We've lowered our oven temperature to 300 degrees. I have a bite. Oh my god, that's so good. And we are going to bake these for about another 8 to 10 minutes on one side. And then we're going to flip them over. I may need a bigger cookie sheet and bake them on the other side for another eight to 10 minutes. Because the last I heard, biscotti means bake a little more. All right, when I have the, I'm gonna get a bigger cookie sheet and when I have this all organized, we'll be back. Here's our biscotti. While that's baking, again, we will, uh, I'll meet you at the stove to make our topping. Okay. 
Here, in a heavy bottom saucepan, I am melting about a tablespoon of coconut oil, and I'm going to add three quarters to a cup of semi-sweet or milk chocolate, preference is yours, chips. We'll be back when this is melted and our biscotti comes out of the oven. And here it is. And we're just going to take our nicely melted, oh, by the way, I had to use three tablespoons of the oil because I wanted to drizzle it. And we're just going to take our chocolate. This works well with a fork too. But, woo, some of this is going to have more chocolate than others. That one's for Papa. We'll see you guys after dinner. No, I didn't notice two missing. What do you mean Penny stole them? You're supposed to eat them all on camera. I'll eat one on camera with a nice glass of milk. So you've had three. Correct. So you already know what they taste like. Very what, good. What was that? Was that a? It's a two thumbs up. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying Half Acre Homestead bis Biscotti got two thumbs up from Papa. They're good to dunk too.